Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and I hope you're ready for a super cool Fast and Furious battle. Today we're looking at what if China attacked the coast of India with a modern carrier strike group and India replied with a BrahMos anti-ship strike. Who would win? Now, we've already done this fight before, but it was mid-2021. Back then, we just didn't have the tech in-game to run this properly. The missiles were a bit bodged and fudged, and some of them didn't work. And I'm proud to say, at the end of 2022, we put the work in, and we've now got all of the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles in, tested, regulated, and we can run this again, and almost certainly get a different result, certainly a more realistic result. Today is exciting, we've got lots of new tech to show off to you. So, as I said, for some reason the Chinese carrier group is oppressing Mumbai on the west coast of India. Obviously this is not India, it's Caucasus, but I've had to use this, it's the closest I've got. The Chinese carrier group is 250 statute miles from the coast. Unit overview. The Chinese carrier strike group contains 50 J-15 Bravos, all air-to-air, -air, plus human J-15 Bravos, plus two AWACS, plus one Type 003 Fujian carrier, their brand new carrier, or our analogue for it, six Type 052C destroyers, we'll talk about why we've chosen that model in a bit, giving a total of 52 aircraft, plus seven ships, plus humans. The Indians, they've sent an anti-ship strike out, consisting 12 Rafales air-to-air, 12 SU-30 MKI anti-ship, 2 AMAX, humans in SU-30 air-to-air, -air, a total of 26 aircraft plus humans. Before we look closer at the units, let's check out some of the tech. The Indian strike is based around the BrahMos air-to-ground supersonic anti-ship missile. Very expensive but effective missile. We've got it here in a KH-61 configuration. It's basically the same weapon, just a different paint job. Note, max speed, Mark 2.5, and it can cruise about 50 feet off the surface, making it a very potent anti-ship weapon. Beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, the Chinese will be using the PL-15 V2 with a range of about 120 nautical miles. The Indians will be using iDarby ER, a new missile we've just programmed, with a range of about 55 nautical miles, not quite in the same league as the PL-15. Also, they will be using Meteor. India has, or soon will have, Meteor, with a range of about 110 nautical miles. And close-range weapons. China will have the PL-10 HOB IR missile. India will have our newly made Mika or Mika IR, a really interesting missile. It's similar to these IR guided missiles, but it has medium range. It will do the same range as the original AMRAAM. IR guided and very advanced, very expensive as well. Let's look at the details of each side. Chinese carrier strike group. It's going to have a type 003. We're just using a super carrier to represent it. And we've set the launch rate of the aircraft at our best guess of the three electromagnetic cats of the Fujian. Aboard her are not 50, but 46 J-15 Bravos with their new WS engines. All are AI set to max skill level to fire at max launch and to RTB once they've fired their long-range missiles. They have a total of eight PL-15s and four PL-10s. They'll take off and defend the carrier. Already airborne are the other four J-15s, again AI max skill level patrolling above the carrier. Two KJ-2000 AWACS, also humans, I'm not sure who's going to be in yet, but there will be humans with the same spec of J-15 air-to-air -air, starting 10 miles behind the carrier. Finally, the escort ships. Slightly controversial, we're using a Type 052 c destroyer, about 15 years old. We are making a high fidelity version of the brand new Type 055 destroyer, but it's not quite ready yet. We're making its full suite of improved SeaWiz, improved air defense missiles, it's YJ-18s, it's YJ-21 hypersonic missiles, but it's taking a lot longer than we thought. It's quite a lot of work. So we're referring back to the 052C destroyer for today. Hopefully in our next naval battle, we'll have the 055 ready. And that is the Chinese strike group. On to the Indian attack. When I designed the Indian attack, I wanted to do as much damage as I possibly could for as few aircraft committed as possible. First, a couple of AWACS in the area, about 200 miles away from the carrier. First line of attack, 
Rafales, which of course India run, 12 of them, armed with four meteors, I think that's the most meteors it can carry, so if I've got that wrong, two fuel tanks and two Mica IRs. Again, max skill level and everything set the same as the Chinese. Next, behind them at varying distances are Su-30 MKI anti-shippers carrying the giant BrahMos missile. Think of it as a KH-61 or a P-800. If you read about this, you can see the really interesting things they had to do to the Su-30 to be able to carry it. They had to design a load of reinforcement ribs along the center of the aircraft to allow this pylon here to carry enough weight. It's a really heavy missile, as you can expect. It's also very fast. It's not stealthy at all, but it is very low flying. Also for self-defense, six Mica IRs. Note, this missile has a range of over 200 miles, but in game and in real life really as well, the range will be limited by the radar of the aircraft and or the AWACS. So they won't be able to fire until something on their coalition can see the hostile ships with their radar, be that AWACS or be that the aircraft themselves. I assume the range is going to be about 170 miles. It usually is to look over the horizon and see a ship. That will be the range probably of BrahMos today. And finally, humans. They'll be in Su-30 MKIs as well, air to air. They'll be using the newly made IWER, -E eight of them, and four micas. And that's it, guys. We will just press play and see what happens. Can I have some kind of predictions? I've run it through to make sure various missiles fire, but I've not actually seen the end result. I think the Chinese are going to be able to suppress the air-to-air -air from the Indians. I, I think the same. The anti-ship will be different, but I, I think Shiny but definitely will rule this guy. I've got faith in the Brahmas. Yeah, the Brahmas is thing's going to get fired off, but the PL-15s are just going to take out every aircraft around afterwards. Question on the Brahmas is actually, did they thought, like, when we designed it, how big I want my anti-ship missile? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. So it was Russian. Russian made the air launch version. They called it a KH-61, but it never made it into production. In the end, they just sold it to India. That's how Russia operates a lot. It just doesn't have the money to build a lot of these weapons for itself. Also, note the huge ranges we're doing nowadays because the weapons we've got now are so long distances. I mean, that there is the Black Sea, and we're taking up a third of the Black Sea. So distances are going to be big, i.e. watch fuel. All the fuel in DCS is pretty accurately modelled. So just bear that in mind. You're going to be travelling at least 125 miles probably. And welcome to the battle. The guys have had a quick warm-up and we're ready to go. Chinese J-15s. Simba Wimba. War Dog. Boosh. Fly. Bird. Indian. Uh, Violet. Fire. Sock. And Cannibal in the SU-30 MKI. Guys, 3, 2, 1, go. You do have infinite respawns as a human. And we're off. The battle commences. I'm genuinely excited about this because I have no idea who's going to win this. Okay, we've got the human J-15s. Uh oh Almost ran into each other. Those beautiful J-15s in real life. They are being upgraded as we speak with their new WS engines. Give them a lot more, well, somewhat more power and reliability. Well done, guys. You have to buzz your carrier, and that's simulating you taking it off of the carrier. Uh, speaking of carrier, let's go and have a look at it. Here we have an American supercarrier. Until we get to the Type 003 in game, it'll have to do. We can adjust its launch rate. You can see that they're waiting here on purpose. That's to simulate the three catapults of the Type 003. Look at that twin launch. Like I said, we've modeled their newer engines. Type 052C destroyers. Uh, this will be the last time we use them, pretty much. We'll be upgrading to 05 afterwards. Sorry, 055. Here come my guys. Do your flybys and then you're combat ready. We're doing flyby <coughs> wire. One. Hello. Two. Three. And the other guys are driving. Just going to have a look at the Indians today. Right, where do we go first? Uh, let's have a look at Rafal. Cannonball and I are in formation. Here is Rafal. You can see it's got four meteors and two Mica IRs. It's a very dangerous weapon platform. Supersonic. We've removed the flight model. I didn't like what it came with, and we've made our own flight model for it. We've got our Su-30 MKI air-to-air. And we've got Violet and Fire Dad. New first time these are going to be fired, the IWERs and the Micas. So that should be interesting how effective they are. They are only medium range missiles. India doesn't have long, oh, it does have long range missiles because it has Meteor. So scratch that. 
and his ship. The modified Su-30 is to carry the giant BrahMos missile. Absolutely enormous. The Russians originally thought they were going to put two of these on the Su-33s, one there and one there, but it essentially just ripped the wings off. So the best they could do is one centre pylon. Right, distance between fronts in nautical miles of 150. AI are up and doing their thing. Remember, the AI are much more intelligent nowadays. So they will have... Oh, you know what? I've forgotten. I've forgotten some really important viewers. Another thing we've just added. Uh, maybe a game master. I mean, in a few minutes, our new scoreboard should uh, turn up, which is going to be... Well, actually, I'll leave it as a surprise, but you'll like it. All right, where's my humans? They're doing their thing as well. They've had to climb from the deck, so they've had to use a lot more fuel. Spike. Ooh. That was quick. Mm -hmm. I have a lock. Distance, 120 miles. Yes, scoreboard. Cap, I lock. Cap, I will launch in some seconds. Roger. Fire it will, guys. Do your boom boom. Turning on jammer. There we go. I had a ton of jammers on. PL15. Now, look, valued viewers. Um, I've got to put thanks out now to Volrad, to Wardog, and to Lightbender for setting this up for me at the top right. You are seeing inflation-adjusted prices for all of these weapons, aircraft, and ships. It was a nightmare to set up, but it is more or less set up, and I'm super happy with it. $9 million fired from the Indians, and, no, sorry, from the Chinese. $23 million fired from the Indians. Meteor's coming out now. Pang! Air breathing engine meteors. Distance between fronts of 80 nautical miles. Meteor, this will burn all That's the way safe. to the target. Wow, you've got an IDAR BER out. Right, where are you? Fox 3. That's from Violet. 20 million China's used. 50 million. Very expensive. Meteors, they're like two and a half million dollars a pop or something. 60 million fired from India. Huge trade of blows here. IWE out, much cheaper, about half a mil. Wow, look at this. What to watch. All those contrails. 80 million fired by India. 40 million fired by China. Three. First hit's coming in now. What to watch. That's problematic. First kill's coming in from the Meteor. Is it going to be a kill? Yes. Pang. First blood. Oh, huge losses from in, uh, from China. Quarter of a billion lost from China. Third of a billion lost. But here go the first Rafales. Didn't even dodge. Knobhead. Oh, a lot to watch. What do we watch? Okay, nearly half a million lost from India. Oh, anti-ship missiles going out. Must watch anti-ship. Okay, not, I did say it was going to be chaotic. Okay. KH-61, Brahmos is being fired. Sorry for the frame rate. Massive Brahmos missile. Supersonic. Well over Mark 1. Fired. What distance were they fired from out of interest? Because this is science at the end of the day. 160 miles. That's pretty much what I thought. Ooh. Uh, you are going to get hit. Or not. Man, it's... How did you survive? Literally, that oh, thing chased him. Oh, poor old bird. You are part of that uh, $800,000. No, $800 million. Jesus Christ. These things are expensive, as it turns out. Look at the chaos, viewers. Is this what a real battle would look like? Pretty much, to be honest. Just absolute menace of long-range missiles. Now we've got the scoreboard, you can see much more what's going on without me having to visualise it, because obviously I can't watch all this at the same time, it's, you know, it's complete chaos. A lot of missiles that have missed. A lot of missiles, it looks like these ones blew over the top to get the anti-shippers. More KH-61s out. A lot of these legacy PL-15s still guiding, after a hundred and something miles. Look at that, it's turning on someone. I'm down. 800,000, you can respawn, guys. 800,000 lost China. Half a million. No, it's already the other way around. Half a million lost to China. Billion. God, I can't get used to these numbers. Uh, what do you want to watch? Ah, IWER coming. This missile is, well, let's face it, completely outclassed nowadays. And would be used in real life. Look at these, chasing the anti-shippers down. Yep, they're chasing the anti-shippers down and they're guiding. Look, anti-ship missiles going out. You see that? 
Those are Brahmos being fired 160 miles, that's 180 statute miles. Which is a long, long way and very hard to defend. So, could they stop the Brahmos being fired? The answer is no. What can they do now? Can they shoot Brahmos Oh, down? I killed the Brahmos. Wow! I killed the Brahmos. That was not expected. You killed a Brahmos. Amazing, guys. Yeah, I guys. locked one and f killed one. Aircraft lost, seven J-15 lost, four Rafale lost, one SU-30 lost. Still missiles chasing, look, chasing those anti-shippers down. They didn't quite yeah, get them in time. Actually, Cap, I was wondering what's flying so low here, but it looks like I've found the Brahmos. Right, I'm trying to find you, Fly. I see you. Well done, Fly. Oh, if you hit a Brahmos... I'm on the next one. Oh, you're killing Brahmos! How about yeah. that? Uh, one thing I did not expect, this is the beauty of having humans in these simulations, and AI is not smart enough to do that. Human, smart enough to do it. Kudos to you, Fly. Right, how exciting. Is that one going to track? It looks like it's tracking, and yeah. missed Brahmos. Just two, for, couldn't pull the lead. They do have G-Dimits. Flying X-1. First, Brahmos is 50 miles out from the carrier. Look, Killed. I, I, well done. Well done. That's a very good thing for you guys to be doing at the moment. Look at these guys. It's my boys. Sock and break. Uh, AI. No, cannibal information. Total losses. Half a million to China. 0.8. Sorry. Words. 0.8 billion. I'm never going to get used to those numbers. They're just so big at this point. India have actually done really well. They've, not set, they've, they've killed more of the Chinese than the Chinese have killed of them. How many Brahmos have you killed, Fly? Uh, I think about seven now, and Amazing. I'm on my eight. Each of those Brahmos is five million dollars. Six million dollars. Yeah, if one of those Brahmos ships the carrier, that's a... Uh, Going for a Brahmos very now. Expensive. Oh, 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 I've got a bunch oh, of Brahmos. Oh, missile turning. Can you do it? Here they come. Bird, you friggin' hero. Don't know how you even find it yet. Oh, I oh no, I thought it missed. Actually, it's pretty easy. They are low. You're just flying low and you lock them easily. Wow. They have big radar curves, actually. So Something I did not think would happen. Another one dead. Guys. Friggin' heroes. Is that feasible in real life? Why not? They're not stealth missiles. Mark II or whatever they're traveling is well within the envelope of what PL-15 can kill. Very, 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 very interesting. Push and the guys are still, Simba, still doing fighting, which they need to do because otherwise the Raphaels. That said, Raphaels, look, he's out of ammunition and he's out of fuel. That's why he's going so slow. Winchester, out of fuel. It's the thing about these long battles. If you burn for 100 miles, you're out of fuel in almost any plane. Pilot going back into battle. Did any Brahmoses make it through? Oh, they're about to overtake me. Pang, good shot, Bird. One Brahmos made it through. Can Bird do a double back and get it? Oh, I don't know. How exciting. It's like the Larazm. We found the Larazm. The only way to kill it was from an airborne radar looking down on it. Ship radar looking up at it just can't kill it. I don't think Bird's going to get it in time. It's going evasive. It's doing it swerving. Super exciting. Oh, no, he's going to miss. Oh my god, it's gonna... No, it's not. No, it's not! Ships are not firing! Ships are not firing! It's too fast! Yes, they are firing! Go on, missile! Go ah! on, missile! Ah! Smash! Bang! Look how cool that was! And more are coming in. One destroyer's damaged, but it's not sunk. The fight's still going on. More Brahmos is coming in. Rims are being fired to defend them. Smash! Oh, more Brahmos are making it through Bird! None of them have seen fit to go to the carrier yet. That's good news for Break China. Ooh, this is very exciting, guys. One more down. It's so far, SeaWiz becomes almost useless. That there is one destroyer down. Look at that money change. One billion, 1.5 billion losses of China. And another one, smash! But they haven't hit the carrier yet. Oh my god, I think that's all of them. I think that's all done, break. That is the Brahmos attack survived. Well done, China. I did not see that. And they only lost one, one guy. And that was all because you guys were shooting them down. 
Fly and Thingy. Right, continue fighting, guys. This ain't over till it's over. So far, one destroyer lost. 10 J15. I don't know why it doesn't say it there, but there. Four Rafale. Only four Rafale. Two SU-30. All those missiles fired. It's been very expensive on both sides, guys. I got shot down before I could even get in into range. Yeah, uh, what are you in? Uh, SU-30. That's the problem with uh, I -I -E -R. You are outranged by about twofold. As it is in real life, pretty much. You fired the conga line of the Maybe UVA. Hello viewers, I hope you're enjoying these battles. I certainly find them extremely exciting. And you never know how they're going to go. Single player, it turns out completely different. As soon as you put human brains in here, everything changes. Uh, all of these, I think all of the anti-shippers survived. They're now going to land at Mumbai. Yes, they're literally landing at Mumbai. They will not go and fight because they will just get shot down, and, you know. Should He's, the Su-30s go home? It's, I'm going to leave it to your choice. You want to fight to the death, fight to the death. You want to go home, go home. But the money, okay, if you I die, that that's 50 million lost. So, do what you think is best on that dynamic. Rafael's landing. Alright. If you land, that's a saved airframe. So far, China is losing. Oh, nice from Violet. Oh, a thing's happening. Shot, Violet. Fly got an IA Darby ah, ER in the, the face. Oh, but the thing's coming, Violet. A friggin' thing's coming. You did hit the German. Yes, you did. But have you got the sense to... Oh, that's a hard thing to dodge. Smash! Violet's out. Oh. Wow. How many was a, uh, one of that missiles again, Cap? Two million for a PL-15. One and a half million. Uh, no more respawning, guys, please. Because the battle's winding down. Use your last life, last life however you're going to use it. Watch your fuel. If you crash, you Watch lose that. that airframe. Oh, a bunch of missiles just coming in from the friggin' forever. Valley viewers, uh, you have to take these missiles with a little bit of a pinch of salt. We've just... Oh, how do I even explain it? Basically, every time you look at their altitude, double it. And that's the altitude they should be flying at. That's the aero resistance we've programmed in. Uh, we can't actually make them go that high. Because they are actually, interesting, all AIM-120Cs. All of our missiles are AIM-120Cs that have been modified hugely. But they do have AIM-120C restrictions, unfortunately. Right. Is there any more killing going to happen? I'm going to start looking at the scoreboard. Uh, so, red actually did amazingly well because if those Brahmoses had got through, I'm pretty sure everything would be dead. Uh, only one Brahmos got through or only a couple of Brahmos got through and only one destroyer was destroyed. They tried to defend themselves, they fired their cannon and stuff, but Brahmos was just too fast, too low. Okay, but I can tell you they uh, were pretty easy to find. I mean, when I was just uh, flown yeah. over them, I, I just saw them visually mm. with that big smoke behind them. Well, hey, there's no they appeared on radar too. There's no reason that shouldn't be unrealistic like i said they're not stealthy and they're pretty big like a big dome face mj 15s lost total to the tax payer 1.65 billion dollars india got off much easier only four rafales down and three su-30 mkis total taxpayer money 0 0.95 billion a lot of that money was actually the anti-ship missiles i think fired but you know Brahmos is expensive just gonna watch the last things. When they're on the ground, you're no longer allowed to shoot them, guys. Once they've landed, they've landed. God, he doesn't look very really safe. Watching the last PL 15s die out. <laughs> Fire Dad's getting chased. I am chasing you, Fire Dad. Both the AWACs have missiles on. Rod. Oh, wow, look at that. In real life, would they stay around? No, obviously, they would have run away, but. Jesus, that was an expensive asset. Yeah, they know. Just over a billion. Running it for one more minute, guys. One more minute. Lots of these planes have landed now, as you can see. Anti-shippers. They've done their job. Buck, Cannonball. We're both going to Kovalev. Two flight. Oh, a Rafale's been found by a PL-15. He ran out of fuel and he couldn't dodge it. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> is this bit realistic at the end? We'll have to disregard this bit because in real life, India would have SAMs that would stop all this happening. So we'll 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 end the game essentially where I was reading the results out. Guys, I'm going to let you go and land now. But uh, we end, we're going to end the game with China. Uh, lost 1.65 billion, one destroyer and 11 planes and got off, I think, extremely easily. Extremely easily. All to the common sense of fly and bird. 
from shooting those missiles down. Really well done. Uh, Cap. Send. China established a beachhead at Gudata, and now we have a place to launch our land-based forces. How about that? Uh, Blue, before I ended the game, Blue lost uh, seven planes, I think, and it was a total of, I think, 0 0.9 billion. So about 60% as much losses, but they got away with much more planes. While you're still flying, guys, any debrief points from you guys? These missile ranges suck. The missile range, you don't like the missile ranges, Cannonball. Right, that's unfortunate. You shouldn't, you should fight with core game assets then. 2020, more difficult. Pang! And there goes the AWACS. Yeah, it's an expensive asset. No one got anything to say otherwise? You can strafe that guy if you want Simba, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, he's landing. Oh, you're doing a beachhead, Simba. You're doing a beachhead. Yeah, that's what I said. We established, we now have ground territory to launch no, our ground. I think we now have a prisoner. But if you look at your two o'clock, there's a Rafael who also made it down, so you're gonna have to get in fist fight with him, I'm afraid, or a Luger fight. Whatever the hell. Uh, the they're flying a Rafael, so they're French. They're just gonna run away. Ouch. Cannonball, are we just gonna go straight in? That's my thought. I would, because you got Got missiles me. about to rain down on you guys. <laughs> yeah, there's a PL-15 on your side. Just saying. I don't want to be that Captain guy, soft. Copy, Captain, Captain. Uh, do you want to watch that landing here? No, because I'm watching, uh, break damp land. I can wait for... Also, J-15 okay, uh... smashes into the back of this. Yeah, there's no damage model for J-15, so, I mean, there's no collision model, so it won't work. Almost put his landing gear out, but not quite. That's our sock. Open that canopy sock. Get out before you burn to death. Oh shit, Jesus. Sock landed. Well, Serviceable okay. jet. Well, the, the scoreboard just charged you for it. Just charged you 50 million for it. No, That's... I was watching. There Good were two PL 15s attacking two aircraft landing at Sanaki. Okay. A Rafale and a Sue got smacked. Alright. Hold well on, guys. Uh... I have the ball. Go on in, let's watch fly crash into the back of the carrier. We haven't set these up to land on the carrier. We haven't done the collision model because we can't really be bothered with them. Enough to do as it is. But everyone likes to see fly have a nice crash, so. Look at those flaps going through the back of those missiles, too. Uh, we don't talk about that, but we never talk about that. <laughs> Minor problems. Go on, fly. Go on, fly. You frigging hero! How did you do it, fly? Man of the match! Uh, he's destroying the carrier. Um, 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 there's your collision model. There's your collision model. <laughs> but you did land, right? I saw yeah. you land. All right, guys. I'm going to pause Take it now. Out, Simba. I'm going to pause it now because you're not concentrating. Oh, no. Simba's going to have a fight. I've got to watch. Go on, Simba. This is just getting very GR now, isn't it? You've got a bigger jet, and your jet is technically Russian, which is much stronger. Put him on the bot. Get him, Simba. Put him on the bot bot. Smash! He did it! Huh. Woo! Suck it, my in friend. Real, real uh, he didn't eject, and I did. Yeah, he did. I am feet on the ground. Love that. Yeah, you he, are he feet on the ground. Ejected. He burned. Simba did it in All right, now I'm pausing. GR fashion. Guys, I found that incredibly uh, fun. It was only a short one, only 25 minutes, but that is classic GR war game. That's what we're here to do. Um, any other sensible comments, guys? Nope. Lots of fun. The Brahmas did far worse than I thought they yeah. would with uh, their speed. But... That, was, that was only because you guys shot them yeah. down, though. They would have got through, I'm almost certain. Would have smashed that carrier group. That's how it goes, though. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.